What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and uh, happy World Series and Tops Update release day. Um, this is pretty much the set everybody's been waiting for after kind of the disappointment of Series 2 with the short prints and all that fun stuff. You guys know the deal. Um, I'm not going to get into too much, but you guys know the hype behind Update. All the rookies that we've been waiting for are in here. Rookie um, debut tickets or rookie debut cards. And um, we're just going to get right into this. I've got two jumbo boxes, one hobby box. Um, and as always, you guys know, we grab a pack from the store. This sold out immediately today at my LCS. Um, I went there during lunch and luckily they had a couple on hold for me. But they were complete out of jumbos and uh, out of... I think I was there when the last hobby box sold. So these are averaging anywhere between 180 to 240 bucks. I got mine for 220. Um, and uh, when we talk about the hobby, you can at least still pick up the hobby boxes on Top's website for 80 bucks right now. So we're gonna go ahead and open that in a second. But first, let's get our pack from the shop opened up and see if we can snag a hit from it. And uh, again, as always, the usual stuff there. Lots of odds here. Looking forward to see what uh, Striker Breaks and some of the other folks that do the value evaluations are going to come out as far as print run. I think the earliest numbers I heard was 20% more than Series 2. So we'll see how that turns out. But you guys know we're looking for all the big rookies. J-Rod, Bobby Witt, Pena, Suzuki, um, oh my gosh, there's there's a ton. It's 62, 62 uh, base rookies, not counting rookie debuts, uh, added the 330 checklist. So it's going to be, that's why I wanted to get the jumbo, because I'm going to get duplicates of a lot of the rookies, I would hope. And uh, we'll see what we get coming right into this. Something a little weird in there, like a color... Oh, I bet you that's one of the... Okay, we'll see what... Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do the old... Uh, we're going to put the center at the back just to end on a high note there. So let's go ahead and get through here. I'm not going to spend a ton of time here on the base cards. We all know what they look like. Same design as Series 2. And uh, Series 1, of course. We've got the tops flip because, you know, we can't do that at all without it. Um, and again, the other reason for picking up the jumbo boxes, for those that don't know, that's kind of crazy, the individual flips there, is um, we're doing, we're getting two silver packs, we're going to get one guaranteed auto, two relics, and um, there's also a box topper in here, which is a rookie card of, I think it's a, it's a 10 card checklist. Oh, I got a red back here already, so let's see, I, I can't even fly through the base because of all the rookies in there, it's Quan. Good lord. Tops, come on. Just one time. Give us no flipping. Jason Krizan. I didn't even realize he was playing for the Giants. Shows you how much I shows you how quick I phased out there. Okay, Jansen. Let's see. Arias debut. Bruhan debut. And I got their sideways guys here. There's some combo cards too. There you go. Round Q. Combo cards, kind of like the old school ones. And we're going to have our gold foils, which is the other reason I got the two jumbo boxes this time. Was hoping, like we'll see here, if I can hit some rookies on the gold foils like this. So these are not the gold parallels, which are numbered to 2022. These are actually a shorter print than those. Uh, they don't, they're not numbered, but... I think they say they're somewhere around 600 or so. We got red right behind it, so that's going to be a good one. And there's our first insert of the Paragons of Postseason. These are new this year. Nice Derek Jeter there. Juan Soto on the All-Star Game, which are now inserts this year, which I like because I didn't like that they were eating up cards on the base checklist like they were last year. And a nice Ken Griffey Jr. on the 87. So not too bad there. So let's see what we got in our red card. It's the sideways card. <laughs> it's that same A's card. All right. So we got an A's rookie combo number two. What is this? So 199. Okay. As soon as I saw it was sideways, I knew it wasn't going to be a 
a big one. But hey, we got our first parallel. Oh, and actually, that was the parallel from the cart from the shop. I totally forgot about that. So we got a hit or a numbered card from the shop, and that's where we want to start. So there we go. That was just the uh, no hit, but we did get a numbered card and a gold foil. So I'll take that. And now let's get into the box. Let's see what our box topper is going to be. Reggie Jackson on the box toppers. These are just reprints, of course, of the rookie cards of, I think, 10 players. There's Trout. Um, Ricky Henderson, I think, is one I've seen a lot. But there you go. Always kind of a pain to protect these or get them in a sleeve or a holder. But if you're an Ace fan or Reggie Jackson fan, I'll have that on eBay here later tonight. And we got our two silver packs. I will keep these for later. And let's just get these all out. It's a ton of cards. 10 packs, 46 cards each. So this will be a longer video than normal. The next ones will be faster. You guys know I like to take my time just like you would or like you do, except I'm the one doing this on camera. So I try to take my time with the first run through just to kind of soak it in and see what we're getting. And let's see what we can maybe get lucky like we did with series one and pull a wander rainbow foil. And send it off to PSA, but let's go ahead and get going here. CJ Abrams again, rookie debut. Uh, gosh, I should just not flip, right? Probably will just do the big rookies. Giants combo, Red Sox. Oh, I forgot. I said I was going to do the do the uh, middle cards later, but let's just go with it here. So we got. Cole Sussler on the gold foil. Bryce Hopper, World Series bound. Good luck to you, Phillies. I hope you beat the Astros. Contreras, All-Star. Lodolo, rookie on the 87. Bryson Stott, there's a good one there. Also, good luck again to him. In the Interesting for him, right? He's been getting lots of big hits, but it hasn't been overall not a very good average. But yeah, who thinks they win the World Series? Put in the comments below. Game one's tonight. You guys know I'm a Giants fan, so I'll admit I was happy to see that the Padres and the and the uh, and the Dodgers didn't make it. <laughs> enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And um, but I'm rooting for the Phillies. I think Harper. It's about time Harper gets a chance, and there's a lot of young players on that team. So good luck to them against the cheating Astros. All right, so a couple more rookies there. So nothing crazy. We're going to look for two hits out of here. Three hits, sorry. One auto, one relic, one manufactured relic. There's Stephen Kwan on the back. Just go ahead and get that one out of the way. I think that's the debut. Now that's just the regular one, so not bad. And it looks like we got our first hit here so put that toward the back I think we got our our relic I think it's a relic Josh Lowe there's Pena also looking for um, I think I might have mentioned this in my last video doing another PSA submission here as early as next week so trying to was waiting on this release to see if I got lucky and pulled anything out that I want to send in Brandon Marsh debut Man, really is annoying doing the tops flip. But we all are pros at it now, I think. So you guys picking this up? Gonna wait to see if the price goes down. I don't think it will. Just given, I mean, just like I said today, for the price that my LCS was selling them at, and they were all gone before noon today. Kind of crazy. Haven't seen a release fly off the shelf that quick in a while. But that's what happened today. So luckily I got mine. Hopefully you got yours. And uh, this will be the last flagship release for the year. A little late than normal, but at least we got it. Here's our next gold foil. Not a rookie. Loa Siga? Loali Siga? I don't know how to pronounce that name. Oh, we got a vintage. 
sneaking up on me here. Vintage stock. Reese McGuire. We got our relic behind it of Byron Buxton, numbered to 50. So we got a nice double numbered here. Reese McGuire on the vintage stock, 92 out of 99. So not the player we wanted, but a nice parallel. Again, hard to, hard to tell you how it feels, but you can tell it's got an old school feel to it. And then we got Buxton on a 44 out of 50. These are nice, at least they're game used. Simple napkin there. So that's going to be one of our two relics. Normally, this one, if you're lucky to get it autoed, uh, I think I got one of those last year or earlier this year for Series 1, it would be this one. It's normally not the manufactured relic. It's normally the uh, the real one, you know, the game-worn one. So no luck there. But we did, at least we got a parallel. Manny Ramirez, and there's Buxton again on the All-Star, and Matt Brash on the insert. So two packs in. Again, lots of cards here. I am a set builder, so I will be building this set. Trading with some other folks to build multiple sets. I'll probably go for the master set here and uh, do all the inserts as well. So I know it's a dying art, but I still like doing it, at least for flagship. Let's see who else we get in here. Still haven't gotten any one of the big boys yet. There's CJ Abrams. There's Pena. I was looking at the coalition. I think if we see a Kimbrel, then we should see a J-Rod. I think that's what I've been noticing, but we'll see. Oh, there it is. There's Kimbrel. And then do we see a J-Rod? Maybe I'm off. Maybe I'm off. I guess I'm off. So that must not be the collation. There's IKF. Miranda Chapman traded. Oh, Ramos for the PC. I am high on Ramos. Looking forward to seeing him play some more next year. Let's see. Yeah, still nothing here. A couple of these little, like, you know, different themed cards. You know, not just players. Just an excuse to put some of the superstars back in there. Same thing with the Japanese Legends. Looks like we got our first gold card. True gold out of 2022 coming up. No, it's another gold foil. The Dodger. Tony Gonsolin. So not hitting any of the gold foils so far. We got another Paragon. The Yankee Andy Pettit. Sandy Alcantara on the in, on the uh, All-Star game. And then, wow, Yankees galore over there. Mario Mo on the 87. So <clears throat> still haven't hit the big guys yet. Maybe they're all in that other stack for me. Also, there's the Wander Rookie debut, so got a little bit of everything in here. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty stacked checklist. People seem to be pretty happy with it. Only complaints seem to be about uh, folks like um, Rushman and uh, who's the other one that should have been in here? Darn it. Forgetting which other rookie was the one that people wanted to be in here, but they're going to hold them over until... I mean, Rushman for sure. He's going to be the poster kid, I think, for uh, Series 1. Coming out in February, believe it or not. We're only four months away from Series 1. Kind of crazy how late this has been. There's a nice one. Torkelson on the debut. Go through this. There we go. There we go. First Suzuki base rookie. Open to see if we have an auto come in. Oh, is that? Uh, I'm not going to get too excited. I also forgot to mention, you also have the home field advantage cards in here, which I thought maybe is what I'm looking at back there, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. No, it's not. It's a generation next. But there's O'Neill Cruz also. He was in Series 2, but he's got his debut. Again, every rookie that was in Series 1 or 2 will have their debut in here as well. Got something here. Like something's oh, just a rainbow foil. We got our your annual trout and uh Shohei card, nice one there. 
And let's see, foil of the wrong royal. Matt Brash. Oh. Well, I mean, not bad for a black. The blacks are only going to be in hobbies. So Matt Brash, good pitcher for the Mariners. Black parallel at a 71. Would have been really nice if that was a J-Rod. And then there's Bruhan. You got to be careful. They do have a couple sneaky blue parallels, I think, in the hobby boxes. But not that one. Arenado and Schwarber on the insert. So there we go. So still no J-Rod base or debut. We're halfway through. No Bobby Witt sighting yet. So let's see if... Uh, I can make an appearance here, but that's why I got a number of these boxes. I know I'm not going to have any problem getting a couple of them. It's just a matter of hoping to land a parallel of them. There's Cabrera. Oh, that was it. It was the other Cabrera for the Yankees that they didn't put in this set. But he'll be in series. Oh, wrong. So it's not Bobby Witt. It is Bobby Witt, but this is MJ Melendez card. We do have a backwards card over here. We're going to skip through those again. Come back here. Bryson Stott again, number two for Stott. What is the darn collation for Hunter Green? It's one again, again, one of the short prints for Series 2. What is our collation for J? Oh, there it is. Okay, maybe it's Tony Gonsolin. Gonsolin, there's the J-Rod base. So hopefully create a nice little stack of those. Those are selling for 10 bucks a piece already. I saw that today. Don't buy the singles today, guys. Buy them in a couple of days or weeks when the market gets flooded with them. Don't buy base cards, I'm saying today. You can go buy all your, ins you know, your numbered cards and your autos. That's fine, but don't do it the other way. That's weird. We got two Melendez in the same pack. Maybe it was the other pack. And this card's interesting because now uh, Wainwright's coming back for another year. <laughs> Funny how that happened. And what do we got here? Texas, Brad Miller. Not the guy we wanted. Who do we got here? Backwards card. William Woods. On the green. So a rookie. But a pitcher. And then Hunter Green, Stanton, and another Jeter. So Yankee box galore over here. Let me get the J-Rod sleeved up because that might be the only J-Rod I get out of this box. But with half a box to go, hoping that's not the case. So, And again, I know a longer video. Thanks for hanging out. If you are, we'll do faster on the other one. But again, a lot of cards to go through. And I'll keep trying to speed it up here, even as I go upside down. There's Royce Lewis on the base. Freddie Freeman, number 330. Always funny who they put at the end of the end of the set. There's a Suzuki debut. And there's so many. Again, 62 base rookies, not counting the uh not counting the uh debuts or even these type of cards so again we've got this stuff here we'll come back to it still no auto yet and our second relic i know i'm gonna find some more cards when i start building the set there's a torkelson base still need a bobby witt actually i haven't even seen a pain yet did i get a pain yet Oh, man, I'm seeing a backwards. Oh, that's not backwards. <laughs> I thought I was seeing the backwards Mariner logo there, but uh, no. It will be a combo, though. Yeah. So it looks like you're getting about two or three. There's Bobby Witt on the debut. So get that one out of the way. How about a rookie? No. Perdomo, wrong year. Last year would have been the year to get him. And Christy Mathewson, 
old schooler New York Giants on the die cut. That looks like a parallel, but it's, I guess not. There's Jock Peterson, the lone, one of the lone Giants for the All-Star game, and Chris Bryant, who thank God didn't sign with us this year because he was terrible. All right, we got another We got some color back there, maybe. Or it could just, yeah, something. Ooh, something looks good there. There's the Julio debut. I like that one a little better. I like that picture a little better. So there we go. So, and again, in, in the jumbo box, and really, you probably should just, I would recommend going with the jumbo box. There's the wand. There we go. That's more of a pack that I want. Wander debut, Julio debut. Quan debut. There we go. That's the pack you want. Let's see what else. That's a nice 3,000 hits for Miggy. Hundred home. Oh, hundred home runs for Shohei. Huh? There's Hunter Green. I mean, right? All these, <laughs> all the ones that were so hard to get in Series Two are just popping out here and yes we know the print runs are going to be higher but it's just nice to actually have them right even just from a collector perspective forget the investment side of it you guys know i was kind of bummed out with series two i only did one hobby box of it and just decided not to even bother opening it anymore <laughs> reed detmer's debut all right what do we got here we got silver silver Tyrone Taylor, not the one we want. What do we got here? We got a nice red, and we have... Okay, we do have a 222, so we do have a, a true gold. Lucas Sims. We have our... We got a couple things going on here. So we got the gold here. Oh, okay. That's kind of interesting behind there. There, Lucas Sims on the gold at a 222. And then for me, at the PC... Curvin Castro, Giants, Autograph, Rookie, Numbered. It's going to be what, out of uh, 25? Hey, an 1125. That's my birthday. That's the, um, I have a little thing where a few cards I try to buy that are a little higher end. If they're out of 25, I'll try to find the number 11 serial number um, just to be my birthday. I've had a few of those, but... Uh, Maybe one day I'll do a video on my 1125 cards, but there we go. Add one to the collection. Not a hit that most people would care about, but that's uh, that's kind of perfect for me. Giants, rookie, auto, parallel, 87, which was the first year I started collecting cards, and numbered 11 out of 25. That's the beauty of collecting cards. Nobody would probably care about this card that much, but it will... Uh, it's the first one I'm top loading. <laughs> Sentimental value for me. That's cool. All right. Juan Soto on the black gold. I thought we were supposed to get two of these per box. These are really cool looking. They got that mini diamond look to them. So very nice. Uh, insert there. Castillo and Hunter Green on the inserts. And then two more there. Wow, my base pile is. Huge over here on the side, and I still have three boxes to go. All right, let's kind of plow through this. We got the auto out of the way. We've got a mem card still to find. And uh, we're just going to go through this Blitzen style here now. If I see something here, great. Mackenzie Gore. But I'm going to find these all when I sort them out later and build my set. Really just want to look for... There we go. Dancing in Detroit. We got another backwards card and another tops gold. We have an A's. Another gold. Orlando Arcia. And another black gold. Again, these are really nice. I guess that's our second one. And then more inserts here with Xander and CJ Abrams on the 87. And uh, we'll wrap this up here. 
Let's see if we can find one more. There's Bobby Witt. Perfect. I was just about to say we hadn't gotten him yet. And hoping to maybe get just one more duplicate of them. There's Bryson Stott debut. All right. And we still have our silver pack, so we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. All right. This has our manufactured relic in it. There's CJ Abrams again. And Archie Bradley. Man, the gold foils didn't do didn't do us any good. Javi Baez on the manufacturer is kind of interesting. So Jackie Robinson Day. I mean, yeah, okay. At least they're trying to do something different. I just wish manufactured relics would just stay in the blaster boxes. You won't see me open that many blaster boxes because, again, and I saw them today at Target. If you buy a blaster box, you have zero chance of an auto. The only way you're going to get an auto is to get the autograph on the manufactured relic which is a super hard hit and um you know probably not going to get it but you cannot pull an auto out of those cards or out of those uh, that format so that's why i don't buy those too much um so if you didn't know that now you know stick to hangers um unless you just want to open more cards that's fine but don't expect any autos out of the blaster boxes. All right. I think we're going to call this one done. Yep. And our last pack. We got all the guaranteed hits we expect. Only thing we would hope for here is just another parallel. And uh, let's see if we get lucky here. Again, not flipping these guys over, even though now everything is upside down. Okay, there we go. And, of course, it happens. So, oh, we got one more black gold, I guess. Okay, so let's save these until the end. And we'll end on that note. Good, another Bobby Witt. He's hoping to get two. I was hoping to get two Julios, but looks like we're just going to get the one. And another Bryson Stott. Crazy, we've got like five Bryson Stott cards. Trevor Story, and here we go, wrapping it up here. We are going to end on a silver of... It's a rookie, but it's a pitcher, unfortunately, of Jake Walsh. With a nasty surface scratch. We got another gold card. Mackenzie Gore, at least. On the debut. And then... Alex Bregman on the top of black gold. So I guess we're getting three of these per box. All right. <laughs> Chaz. Nice picture. That's like almost like a stadium club-like picture. That's pretty funny. Juan Soto in the wrong uniform. We won't see him in the Padres until Series 1. And Adam Frazier. So there we go on the cards themselves. Let's get to the silver packs and see if we can knock something out of the park here. Maybe get a Julio, Bobby Witt. Let's see what we got. Oh, you can tell from the side if you got something. Doesn't look like it. George Kirby. Stephen Kwan. Carlos Rodon. And a Nolan Ryan on the Angels. Nice. I don't think any of these were parallels. Now they'll be backwards if they are. And our last silver pack and the final item for... Jumbo box number one. There'll be one more coming later today. Let's see if we got an auto or something a little different here. We might have something. Joe Mauer. Oh yeah, we did get something in the back, looks like. 
Joe Maurer, Marcus Simeon, Vladdy, Greg Maddox. Is that a parallel? It is. Man, these are so hard to tell. Look at that, $1.99. I mean, you could barely tell. It's just like a shade of blue. Yeah. All right. So, there we go. So, we got one. We did get one parallel out of the silver pack. We did get one rookie. And let's do a quick recap here. So, we did get the auto. Again, not a big name, but for me on the PC, this is a number that had 25 PC rookie hit for me. I'll take it. We got the manufactured relic, Javi Baez. We got, what was the first relic? Byron Bruxton, numbered the 50. And then we had a couple numbered, a couple numbered cards, rookies. A lot of pitchers, though. William Woods. Brash out of 71. Vintage stock out of seven out of 99. We did get the Julio. But we only got one. We only got one Julio base rookie. We did manage to get two Bobby Witts, a Wander, and a rookie debut of J-Rod. So yeah, more of a wit than J-Rod in this one. And a lot of Bryson Stott. Again, lots of rookies in this set, guys. There's going to be... All you need is for, you know, two or three of these guys to pop off. And you could argue already, obviously, J-Rod is going to be a stud. He's already going to be the rookie of the year. He'll get MVP votes. So he's already checking the box. He got Bobby Witt. He got Torkelson that could turn it around. He got Pena, who already won a NLCS MVP. So who knows, right? That's the whole point. You got a lot of good rookies that have potential... Uh, but from a collector perspective, this is an awesome set. And that's why I bought so many boxes. I'll be building my own set, my master set, and uh, see if we get lucky and pull a big banger on, along the way. But uh, it's pretty much the J-Rod chase. So um, good luck to everybody. I know there'll be a lot of people opening this up. And um, check us out for more videos. We'll be doing the Hobby Box next and then hobby, and then the Jumbo number two. And... Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you've gotten out of this, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again. If you haven't uh, subscribed, like, comment, uh, let me know who's going to win the World Series, and uh, let me know what's the best card you've pulled so far out of 2022 update. Catch you on the next one, guys. Bye.